Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get into your reading Virgo. Now your first card here is the Alchemist, the Princess of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Chariot card here. Okay. All right, Virgo, you're starting, um, you're starting to believe more in yourself. You're starting to be more empowered. Um, it's the knowing or the understanding that you're able or capable to fulfill whatever it is that you're trying to bring into your life, not just in romance and love, but in every single aspect of your life. Now, what they're telling you here is that there is a need for you to be more like really following or acting following through with the things that you commit yourself to doing. Um, now, as an example, if you've committed or given your word to someone that you're going to do something, what they're telling you is don't procrastinate, get to get to doing it. Because I feel that this is, it's almost like procrastinating type of energy and you're showing up as the magician. So the magician is all about being able to have everything you have whatever it is that it takes to create or to draw in the partner that you're looking for now what they're showing me here with the princess of pentacles you may be dealing with an earth energy um another virgo a taurus or a capricorn or you may be dealing with the person that is a bit more immature someone that is not as consistent and it's not because they're not willing or they're not um being able to provide the stability that you're looking for, it just means that they're really focusing themselves on some type of achievement. They're on a journey, they're focused, they are trying to, like yourself, you know, um, accomplish certain goals. So there is almost like, it's almost like they're giving me this sense of like, not the right timing right now. It doesn't mean that they're not interested. It doesn't mean that they don't see value in you. It just indicates that at this point, their life is a little bit hectic. And this could be an energy that you're experiencing yourself as well. Now, with the Ace of Swords, there is honesty. There is truth, a truth coming out. Um, being able to see things from a different perspective or being able to understand why the partner has been a bit distant or perhaps not as accessible as they have in the past. It's about bringing, bringing the cards to the table and being completely honest with each other. And I feel that that's something that's been, there's been lack of clarity in this connection, but it's going to be unfolding in the month of July, beginning of August, where there is a conversation of complete honesty, even brutal honesty. And this could represent, as an example, because they're coming up as a page of pentacles, it could indicate that they are... Um, it could indicate that they're coming off uh, a bit immature. They don't really know how to rationalize or express uh, what it is that they're currently going through. But I do see that there is an opening of like complete honesty. And they're, I'm hearing brutal honesty. So it could be that they tell you, you know what, at this point, I'm not really looking for anything serious. Don't take it personal, Virgo, because I feel that the reason why they're saying that is because they can't fully express that they have a lot of goals and aspirations that they're trying to achieve themselves. And that's the reason that they can't fully invest or fully commit to this partnership at the present time. Now, the advice here is with the five of pentacles, stop feeling like, okay, so what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, you may feel emotionally like you're being rejected, but what they're telling you here is don't ever see things as, rejection. Even if you feel like I said that this person expresses to you, you know what, at this point, um, I can't fully commit to you, uh, or I have a lot of things going on, and they don't clarify, you're quickly to assume that you feel like you're not worthy or that they don't value you. Um, with the five of pentacles here, it's about being more Instead of being insecure, understanding that sometimes when we feel rejected, it's not really rejection. It's like I tell my clients, when you're being rejected, even if you feel like you're wanting to manifest something and it doesn't happen the way you want it to, it's not rejection, it's redirection. 
So it's about what's not for you, let it fall. Let it go to the side and you continue on your path knowing exactly what it is that you expect from a partner and not settling for anything less than what you want. Not entertaining something that, well, maybe I can change their mind or maybe later on they'll be ready. When they're ready, let them come to you. But you continue on your path. Don't stop or sit there and wait for someone to be ready. Focus on yourself, Virgo. Because I do see success here. I do see success in the sense of working on yourself and knowing that you're not being rejected if timing is not right, whatever situation they're going through. It's okay. You continue on your path. You continue going out. You continue dating. You continue connecting with other people because I do see success coming through for you with the chariot card. This is an indication of not only success, but having options. This is about being empowered and knowing your power. So you go from the five of pentacles, doubting yourself or feeling rejected to being empowered or being thankful or being blessed that this happened because there is stability in someone that's coming strong that is going to go above and beyond what you're expecting. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's about embracing and remembering that rejection is not really rejection. It's redirection. You're being refocused. You're perception or what you see right now is being redirected to something that is meant for you. So again, my lovely Virgo, believe in yourself, know your worth, and do not sit there and wait for someone. You continue on your life and on your path, and spirit will bring to you the person that is meant for you. For some of you guys, this could be an Aries. For others, it could be a Cancer coming in for you for the end of this month of July. I wish you guys the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.